and the Troma table here is amazing. And do you want to introduce yourselves to yeah, the... Yeah, sure. So I'm uh, Jay Burleson. I'm a filmmaker from Alabama, and I directed The Nobodies, which is available now on DVD. And I'm Bart Hyatt. I co-star in The Nobodies, and I've, I just kind of like to act whenever I can. It's not really a professional thing, but a big hobby of mine. Awesome. So you're a filmmaker. What inspired you to make this film, and is this your first one? This isn't the first movie that I made. I actually made a um, cheesy vampire movie before this called Feast of the Vampires, which I'm actually reworking. I was like 19 when I made it. We actually shot it twice. When I was 21, we took another stab out of it. Like That was like the first movie I attempted to make for like a couple of grand, and um, it was really cheesy, and we transferred it to VHS when we were done. And um, I felt like my reputation in rural Alabama was as a bad B movie maker. So it actually inspired me to make this movie, which is about a bad B movie that is uh, really terrible, bad acting, bad plot. And um, it's shot in the 90s, premieres in small Alabama town. And um, so it's, it's a faux documentary about this bad B movie from the 90s and um, the director ultimately ends up committing suicide. So it's this crazy blend of two different movies, really. It's a genre bending for sure. That's really cool. So it's like part B-movie and part, you know, kind of yeah. part documentary, part serious. It uh, flows a lot better when you just watch it. Me explaining it, it makes like zero sense because it is like a really weird setup. So it's one of those that you just have to see and, and you were acting in this film right yes i co-starred in it uh, i played detective jake horse and it was one of those things like i knew that we were trying to make an intentionally bad movie so there were times you know i'd film a line and i'm like let me do that i can do that a little bit worse instead of saying serial killer it'd be like you serial murderer you know yeah. just being really over the top and ridiculous with it because in my mind we were making a trauma film it's like this is gonna be one of those bad trauma movies didn't know it at the time and then here we are you willed it into existence. Yes, right. it was a dream come true to be in trauma. <laughs> yeah, so I, w I wanted to add, though, that the idea of just making a B-movie again didn't excite me, and that's where the idea for the documentary came from. And it was really just how I felt about failure as a filmmaker and, you know, taking that to the extreme, and that's where the, the, the filmmaker's story comes into play. But, um, yeah, so being a B-movie maker inspired me to make something that had a little bit more like a, a different layer to it than just making a crazy movie with my friends I wanted to have a little bit more depth to the story that is cool something really creative and um, if you have any new films or new projects in the works or something that you would like to shoot in the near future yeah yeah so I have two features in post um, one of them is a, a kind of ghost horror movie haunted house movie called uh, unfinished business and then I have a drama that I play the lead in called The Lonely and they're both in post-production right now so hopefully in the next year they'll be playing festivals or coming out somewhere. That's really cool and is Bart in, in your other movies too? He's not in these. Yeah, I, you're, yeah. you're kind of an extra in The Lonely though. Yeah, okay. yeah, I forgot I actually did do that kind of background scene for The Lonely. Cool. Alright so where can the fans and fiends find you out there? Alright I'm on Instagram Jay Burleson Twitter as well, and uh, I'm on Facebook. Where can the friends and fiends find you, and fans out there find you? Uh, as per usual, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, uh, on Facebook, or I'm just Bart Hyatt, and on the other two, I'm Troma Bart. Thanks, Troma Bart. <laughs>